the low block. It's one of the most misunderstood blocks I think I've ever seen outside of the high block, the uh, outward middle block, and the inward middle block. The low block, most people will say block like this, and, uh, uh, pardon me, they'll say block like this, and they'll just go like that, and it's like a windshield wiper motion. And the truth of the matter is, this is not the way the low block is. The way the low block is, it only goes to about the tan ken, and then it shoots. It goes forward. It's not a sideways block, it's a forward. This is the way most people teach it, and the fact is it comes back here, there's a tan ken, and it just pop, and it's almost like a punch. And your hand is here, and then it turns over. And that pulls all the muscles together into one moment of focus. Loose, tight, loose, tight. And then you simply put it together with the feet so that your weight sink as you block. From the front, and the back hand should just pull up, and it doesn't have to go. It just pulls up, and it's ready to go. You shouldn't be any. Um, you only want to put energy into what you're doing, into the fist with a line through the body. Uh, my partner. Now, go like this, and do the sideways the way most people do it. That's it. Now, do it again. Oh, what's that? I can't. Why not? Or Go ahead, do it. Now, not only am I stopping him where it doesn't work, but I'm also feeding from my tan ken. The energy's coming straight from here. So if I'm if I'm like this, put your hand right there, and I go like this, I can I can probably do it because I've done it so long, and but I still it's is that going to stop the punch? Well, maybe. There's nothing wrong with hitting a guy like that. But, just step back with that foot and punch with that hand. What? What happened? <laughs> it shot through my whole body. Okay. And you'll notice that what I did is I had my hand back here. Punch again slowly. Now, when I do it, I shoot it. Boom. And I can close the fist. I, I open the hand and I can get more energy going. Now, I'm hitting him right there on the wrist. That's his small bone, and I got my small bone. I can go up a little higher. It's not quite as effective on this block, but here's a nifty trick. Because it is just like a punch, what if I go like this and punch him down? You can see what happens to him. If I do it a little harder or push through a little further, he's going to sit right down. Let's step back with that foot. Now, we call that pubic punching. And you can see him go right down. You just simply take the guy and lay down from under him. He punches. One. And what if he throws the other punch? We're equal, and I've got the inside line. Because I've angled myself up, I've prepared myself, and I've trained myself to push with that side of the body. So it sets up very nicely. Um, this may explain why when you see forms where they go like this, They're not useless forms, and they're not just training forms. What if you're standing here and some guy decides that he's going to grab you, throw a punch, or do whatever, and you step right in, and right there, I can punch him in the groin. You can see him starting to cave and start to fall back as I do it. And now, I may have to charge in because he might be falling back, or maybe I want to clear the space, I want to get away from the guy behind me, or give myself room. So I can go back into them. So the main trick on this is a block is not just a block. It can be. It also can be a punch. It can also be a takedown, as in the cubic punch technique. It makes sense out of forms, and that pretty much covers the low block. Uh, this is real basic information. I recommend Matrix Karate. I, make, I uh, recommend the Master Instructor course because it's got all the data. This is just a little snippet. So. Get those courses and uh, you'll understand everything about the martial arts. Thanks.